All right. So I'm going to be real with y'all. I recorded this whole thing and it deleted itself somehow. So now I have to redo it. So now I can't go through exactly every step because I've done some of the steps, like putting in your email and all that jazz. Didn't want to talk about it. Anyways, I'll walk you through it as much as I can. So the app I picked is Adapted Bind, and I like it a lot for some reasons. Some reasons I don't like it, but we'll get there. Anyways, it's called Adapted Mind, and um, let's see if I can, all right, well. So usually you'll click on it to go into it, and then it will pull up a screen um, asking like what grade that you're looking for. So then you'll click on the grade, and then it'll pull up a screen that asks for your parents' phone number, which I just put in mine because I didn't think my mom would want the emails. I should have put in my mom's. Put in your mom's. Anyway, so you did that, and then it comes up with all of these different things. Also, sorry, it's opposite. Okay, you can see um, this way better on a computer screen. It doesn't work very well with mobile devices, obviously, with that all over it. Anyways, this blue one that you can see is addition, the purple is subtraction, and um, green, I think, is times tables. And, oh no, orangish red is times tables. Measurements, geometry, anyways, they have a lot of different things. Looks like green is, I don't know what green is. Okay, but anyways, so you click on one, I'm gonna click on the blue one, and then it loads, um, whatever it's loading the different, um, anyways, it loads all the different lessons is what I'm trying to say. So then this comes up and lets you know that it automatically adjusts to as you improve, which I think is kind of cool. And um, they get all the like the problems from actual math teachers. So, um, and that have taught in schools. So I think that's kind of cool. Um, oh, it did work. Okay, so you do that first and then the parent email comes up. Maybe I should put in my mom's. I'm doing it. Uh, okay, so you put in your parent's email or your own email. And um, so then, oh, it says, say hi to my roommate. Hi. <laughs> Um, okay, fine. It said, enter a valid email address. So this, guys, this went a lot smoother the first time that I recorded it. I just want to point that out. It just doesn't like me anymore, so. All right, so I'm entering my email address. It might not like, okay, hi, huh, it worked, okay. So this is about as far as I got this last time, too, because right here, it's really cute. You get to pick your own monster, and so you pick the shape and the color and the eyes, the mouth, and the hair and how, anyways, you get to pick your own monster. And then it stays with you through the different things. So um, you, I can't get any further than this on my mobile device because the I accept button is over here on the screen. So if you wanna like do this on your computers while I'm talking at you, go for it. Um, it only lets you do one level before the bad part comes, which is, you have to pay for this device, which is what I don't like about it. It's like 10 bucks a month, which I think is kind of high. I don't know, maybe you'll tell me otherwise. Um, but maybe you work at an awesome school that pays for it for you, and that'll work. But anyways, so I thought that this would be a cool app for different things. I thought it would be cool for centers. Um, I also thought it would be interesting, like we talked about in class, how when you have indoor recess. You don't necessarily want them to just play like tic-tac-toe. This would be like a fun thing that they can do that's still helping them with math. Um, but yeah, so it's called Adaptive Mind. I thought it was really cute. As you get the problems right, it fishes for jewels. And um, then you get your jewels help pay for things for your little monster, which I thought was cute. And even as me, myself, I was like, oh, that's a cute bow tie. I want the bow tie. So, you know, maybe I'm five. But anyways, so that's it. Adaptive mind. I like it. Don't like that you have to pay for it. But anyways, sorry I missed class today, guys. I hope you have an awesome time at field and I'll see you guys in like a month. So good luck. Love you all. See you later.